Welcome to Enli Self Study. Most of us know how to find out the area of circle, the perimeter of circle, the area of quadrant, etc. In area related to circle, we find the area of sectors, area of segments, area of plane figures, and so I have selected few important questions from the previous question paper, and I have made a detailed video on it. Watch until the end. So look at this question. It's a racing track. We can see two straight paths. Then we can see two semicircular rings at either end. The distance between the parallel line segment is given 60 meter, and the length of the parallel segments are 106 meter long. And they have given the width also. Width is 10 meter. And we have to find out the distance around the inner edge of the track, and also we have to find out the area of the track the first thing we are going to do is we are going to find out the distance along the inner edge that is e f g h so distance around the inner edge of the track inner edge of the track we just have to add all the lengths that's it so this is equal to Inner edge means that we have to take the first parallel line segment that is EF. Similarly, on the other uh, side also we have that is HG. Now, the semicircular part, this is our semicircular part. So, uh, the length will be pi R because it is semicircular in shape. And here also we have a semicircle. So, again pi R. Now, what is R? You know that the diameter is 60 meter. So, the radius will be 60 by 2 that is 30. Now, what is EF? EF is the length of the parallel segment that is 106. HG is also 106. Now, pi R. Pi R plus pi R is 2 pi R. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into radius. Radius is 60 by 2 and that is 30. So, when you add, we will get 1. To 1, 2, 1, 2 plus then 44 into 30 that is 1, 3, 2, 0 divided by 7. Now, when you take the LCM, we will get 1, 4, 8, 4 plus 1, 3, 2, 0 divided by 7. So, add you will get 2, 8, 0, 4 divided by 7 meter. So, this is the distance of the track around the inner edge. Now let's do the second part of the question that is finding the area of the track. Area of the track. Now what we are going to do is we are going to divide this area into rectangles and to semicircle. So this is equal to 2 times area of rectangle we have two rectangles one here and one here plus two times area of on either side we have circular ring circular ring so now we know how to find the area of rectangle it is length into breadth now what about semicircular ring semicircular ring Area of semicircular ring is equal to pi by 2 into capital R square minus small r square. So now we have this is the ring and this is 30 meter and the width is 10 meter. So we can see that capital R will be 30 plus 10 that is 40 meter and the small r is 30 meter. So now we can substitute in the formula. 2 into area of rectangle length is 106, width the width is 10 meter plus 2 into pi by 2 into that is area of the semicircular ring is equal to 40 square minus 30 square. Now when you multiply you will get 2120. Then here 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 22 by 7 into you can take it as a square minus b square. So, a plus b into a minus b. So, that the simplification will become much easier. 
2120 plus 22 by 7 into 40 plus 30 is 70 and 40 minus 30 is 10. So here we can uh, cancel 7 and uh, that is 10. So what will happen to the final answer 2120 plus 2200. So when you add both, we will get 4320 meter square. So this is the final answer. Next question is we have to find out the area of the shaded region. Circle of radius 6 cm is given and an equilateral triangle OAB of side 12 cm is given. And we have to find out the area of the shaded region. So to find the shaded region, we have a circle and, a, and an equilateral triangle. So area of shaded region is equal to we can add the area of area of circle plus area of equilateral triangle and then we have to subtract this part that is it is like a sector so area of sector now, area of circle is pi r square. So, pi into r is radius is 6 centimeter. So, 6 square. Area of equilateral triangle. We know that it is root 3 by 4 a square. So, root 3 by 4 a square. What is a here? It is 12 centimeter. So, 12 square. Minus area of the sector. Area of the sector is theta by 360 into pi into r square radius is again 6 centimeter so 36 pi plus root 3 into 144 by 4 minus and what about theta it is given that the triangle is equilateral so the angle will be 60 degrees so 60 by 360 into pi into r square that is 36 now we can do the simplification 6 then this will go 6 pi so 36 pi minus 6 pi so we will get 30 pi and here also we can do simplification 72 and 2 so 72 root 3 by 2 again you can do 36 so finally we will get the answer as 30 pi plus 36 root 3 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded portion this is another important question from area related to circles here a b and c d are the two diameters of the circle and the center is o then OD is the diameter of the smaller circle. OA is given as 7 centimeter. We have to find out the area of the shaded region. So we can see that OA, OC, OD, everything will be 7 centimeter only because they are, they are radii of the same circle. So here we have to find out the area of the small circle. And we know that the diameter of uh, that is OB will be equal to 7 centimeter. That is the diameter of the circle and therefore radius will be equal to 7 by 2 centimeter. So how will you find out the area of smaller circle? Area of smaller circle is equal to pi r square. So this is 22 by 7 into Radius is 7 by 2. R square, so 7 by 2. 7 will get cancelled. Then we'll have 11. So it will be 77 by 2 centimeter square. The next step is we are going to find out the area of the semicircle. 
area of semicircle is equal to half into pi r square and that is half into 22 by 7 into radius is 7 so 7 into 7 so 1 7 will get cancelled 11 and 11 into 7 is 77 centimeter square now we have to find out the area of triangle CAD so half into base into altitude which is half into 7 plus 7 is 14 that is CD 14 OA 7 cancel we will get 49 centimeter square now we have to find out the shaded portion that is segment small segments are there so that those minor segments we have to find out so area of segment minor segments minor segments is equal to area of semicircle minus area of triangle area of triangle and therefore what is the area of semicircle it is 77 minus 49 so we will get 8 and 2 28 centimeter square therefore area of the shaded region is equal to shaded region area of the smaller circle we have already found which was 77 by 2 plus the area of the minor segments that is 28 so 77 plus 56 by 2 and that will give you 133 by 2 and that will be 66.5 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded portion this is the most repeatedly asked question here we can see a quadrant and then a semicircle is drawn with bcs diameter and we have to find the area of the shaded region so we have a right triangle then uh, a quadrant and then a semicircle and we know that the radius of the circle is 14 centimeter 14 centimeter so this is 14 centimeter this also will be 14 centimeter so first thing we are going to do is we are going to find out the length bc so for that we can use the pythagoras theorem so how will you find out the length of bc pythagoras theorem is root of 14 square plus 14 square so 196 plus 196 and it will be 2 9 and 3 392 root of 392 centimeter and when you factorize 392 uh, it is 2 times 2 times 196 right so it will be 2 into 196 or we can write straight away write 14 root 2 14 root 2 centimeter so what will be the radius of the semicircle it will be 14 root 2 divided by 2 so radius of semicircle will be equal to 14 root 2 by 2 that is 7 root 2 centimeter so area of shaded region is equal to half into 14 into 14 plus half into pi into r square that is 22 by 7 into r square 7 root 2 into 7 root 2 minus area of the quadrant 1 by 4 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 now simplification 7 so 98 minus 2 and this can be cancelled 7 and 7 cancel so 11 into 77 77 into 2 that will be 154 and here also we can cancel to 11 11 into 14 and that is again 154 so the answer will become 98 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded portion